Christmas is a time when a lot of families come together, but it's also a time for families say have lost somebody or, or whatever, that you're more aware than ever of somebody who's not around. And if you're dreading Christmas because of this, I'd like to offer some advice that hopefully will help. Instead of focusing on what you've lost and those that are not around anymore, focus on what you do have, the people that are still around, and enjoy what you've got now. I mean, in my own life, our family gatherings are getting smaller than they used to be. Things change, but it doesn't mean you can't meet together and celebrate the birth of Christ and be grateful for all that the Lord's done during that year. If, though, for whatever reason, you're going to be alone this Christmas and you're dreading it, please listen. First of all, Christmas is a difficult time for many. You're not the only one that finds this time difficult. But also, the loneliness is felt more acutely at this time of year. But Christmas comes and it goes again. That feeling doesn't last, so even if you're feeling bad about it, it's temporary. What I'm trying to say is please don't become another Christmas suicide statistic. At this time of year, a lot of people do take their lives. But please hold on. Being alone doesn't mean you're a failure either. Jesus Christ himself was deserted at a certain time by his disciples. And if you read 2 Timothy 4, 9-16, you'll see Paul the Apostle was opposed and deserted. But the Lord stood with him. No matter who else may desert you, Jesus won't. So I want to say this, if you take the tinsel, the expensive presents, even family gatherings away from Christmas, you can still receive the best present ever. And that is a revelation of Jesus Christ himself. The good news that the angels came to give the shepherds was for you as well. Luke 2, 10 to, 11, 10 to 11 says this, The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David a Saviour has been born to you, he's Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you, you'll find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. If you can open your heart and receive Jesus this Christmas, then even though you may have nothing else, Nothing that the world considers success or what they'd think about Christmas. You've got more than anybody else, more than the richest pop star. If you've got Jesus in your heart, that's what matters most.